Hello and welcome to Paper Construction. My name is Kai and I would like to begin by acknowledging that we are on Treaty 6 territory, the homeland of the Métis. Now, today we are going to be playing around with some paper in order to create something that looks a little bit like this. When we put this together, we are going to have something that we can spin like this and it is a swing. Now, all we're going to need to make this is some paper, some tape, and some scissors. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a sheet of paper and we're going to roll it into a tube. Now, the first one I'm going to do, I'm going to do the long way. So we're just going to roll that kind of a little bit tighter because this is going to be the inside part of the spinning thing. And there's going to be a sheet of paper that goes around it in order to spin. So we have a little tube that kind of looks like this. And we're going to take some tape and we're going to pop some right on the top there. Then we're going to do a little bit more in the middle and a little bit more closer to the bottom. You don't have to go all the way to the bottom because we are going to be cutting that to stick it to some paper. So now that we have that one, just gonna use a little bit more to smooth it down. And that'll just make the spinning happen a little smoother. Awesome. So now that I have this one rolled, I'm just going to set that here and I'm going to grab a second sheet of paper. And for this, I'm going to go the short way. Oh, I lied. I'm going to go the long way again. We're going to go around this little one. We're going to do it a little bit looser so that we have some room for it to spin. So we want it to be fairly, fairly loose in there, just like that. And if you find that it's a little too tight, if you hold it like this and just kind of let go with your hands just a little bit, it should loosen up just a little bit. And we're going to do the same thing again here. We're going to put it some tape near the top, some tape a little bit lower down, a little bit more. And this one, we're going to go all the way to the bottom. Because the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our scissors and we're going to cut a little bit off the top. And this is going to be for the handle part on the top of the spinning circle. So we'll just cut it like that. So what we should be left with is a small tube, a medium tube, and a large tube. The large tube should be our skinniest tube. Okay, so now that those are all rolled, we're going to set those aside. And we're going to take another sheet of paper, and we're going to cut out a circle. Now your circle doesn't have to be perfect, but if you happen to have something at home that you can trace, that will help a little bit. And we're just going to go like this. Now that we have that cut out, we're going to set that aside and we're going to grab another sheet of paper. For this, we're going to cut out some strips, and this will be for the arms of our swing. And what we're going to do is we're going to do the short side of our paper. And we're going to cut them. We're going to do eight of them. Awesome. So now we should have eight strips of paper along with our circle and our three tubes. And we're going to set those aside too. And we're going to come back to the piece of paper that we have left over from our circle. And what we're going to do 
is we're going to cut the seats for the swing now. So we made eight arms. We're going to make eight swings. So I'm going to cut a wider piece of paper here like this. And then I'm going to cut it in half. I'm going to stack it and then cut it in half or so. We can fold it like this. We'll do it like this. Do half and then half again. So we should have our eight seats, and we're going to set those aside now. So what we should be left with are our eight strips, our eight seats, our circle, and our three twos. What we're going to do is we're going to take our seats and we are going to fold them in half. We're going to do that for all of them. Awesome. So we have eight seats folded. We're going to take our eight swing strings or our strips here and we're going to stack them. And then we're going to kind of make a marking fold. And this is what we're going to use to tape them to the top of the swing. So we'll just fold them all like that. Awesome. With those folded, we're going to attach them together now. So we're going to bring our tape back in. We're going to take a piece and we're going to go the opposite. So we want the fold to go that way. We want the swing to stick on this way. So what we'll have is kind of a weird Z shape, like that. We're just going to tape it onto the back, just like that. And we're going to do that for a weird Z shape. We're going to do that for the rest of them. Awesome. So now we have our eight swings. We're going to take our circle and we're going to bring that into the middle. And what we're going to do is we're going to attach our swings. So we're going to take the flap here and we're just going to tape it down there like that. And we're going to go straight opposite of that for this next one. Just like that. And then we're going to go here, here, and here. Awesome. So we have the base for our swings now. We're going to take our medium tube and we're going to take our scissors and we're going to cut little strips, little lines into it. We're going to do four. So we're going to do one, two, three, and four. And then we're going to fold those down. Like that. And then we're going to just tape it to the middle, just like that. So tape here, tape here, tape here, and tape here. Okay. Then we're going to flip that over, just like that. We might have to lay it on its side, like that. We're going to take our short tube, our smallest tube, and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to cut those four slits in. And again, we'll fold those down. So I did that one. This one's going to have five. I did that a little wide. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to try and line it up with our other two, 
and we're going to tape it down in the same way we did the other two. Awesome. So now we should have the spinning part for our swings. And we're just going to set that aside and we're going to grab another sheet of paper. And this one we're just going to lay flat on the table and we're going to take our long tube and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to cut four slits in the bottom. And then we'll do the same thing. And we're going to tape it to this paper. Okay, so what we should have now is a sheet of paper with a long tube attached to it and a shorter tube with our swings attached. And we're just going to put those two together like that. Oops, we might have to hold on to the base just like that. And then we should have our swings. I would like to thank Dazzling Discovery's STEAM Education Center for this paper construction project. For more projects like this, please visit their website, which is linked in the description below.